Hello, hello, Brian from Two Fab here. How y'all doing today? Hi, good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, and I am excited. I, I watched, you know, the surreal life back in the day. I'm I'm happy it's back. I love this cast, and I just for you all, you know, when you first got into the house, when you finally got to see who your housemates were. Was there anyone you wanted to like pull aside immediately and start getting gossip from? I know Tamar, they, they mentioned you went right for Stormy in the other room. <laughs> well, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who Stormy was. <laughs> I, it was just a lady who bought this little Chucky doll in this house. I thought the doll was gonna kill everybody. She said the doll was alive. I'm a Christian. I was like, what, what in the witchcraft is going on over here? <laughs> and then she told me that she was Donald Trump's piece. And I was like, oh, I need to know the team. What's going on? Fair. That's what I need to know. And then the most interesting thing about it is that, do you know we are birthday twins? Really? Isn't that a fun fact? <laughs> Very fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> and for CJ and August, was there anyone that you were really interested to to maybe talk the air off a little bit once you once you saw everyone. <laughs> I was I was really excited to get to know everyone. And I just everyone's so different and so fascinating yeah. to me. Um, and also to be able to have this opportunity to get to know people without your phone and um, mm. without like Googling and having a pre idea of the person was really, really great. Um, yeah, I was really excited to get the talk to everyone and hear hear their story um because everyone's so different <laughs> and yeah same same because there was so many different kind of people um in yeah. the house and also i was the last one to walk in the house so all, all of them had kind of been there before me and mm. um, so really me walking in i just kind of felt a little bombarded by everybody's uh, energy because they had already got acquainted and then I was the last person in, so it was a little strange. And then, so I just, it, it really, I just wanted to see what was what with, with everybody. And going in, were there, you know, you mentioned CJ, like not having Google and having preconceived notions, but for each of you going in, was there something you were hoping to maybe that right about yourself or, or, or maybe be able to have a chance to explain a little bit to, you know once you have this platform of a reality show not that tamar is no secret or stranger to reality shows but <laughs> um for me i i don't i i can't even answer that i was to say tune in because um you you're really it's still like there's some not everything's going to make television so yeah. um you know but it's gonna be entertaining and it's gonna be funny and hopefully we'll make you cry laugh um inspire <laughs> bring awareness all of that i really do think we're gonna touch all of it will be touched on because really all of that we experienced all of it from every extreme like happiness, like literally laughing so hard that like we're getting abs to like sobbing, <laughs> crying to people losing their shit to like uh, crazy, yeah. crazy activations, which is was highly entertaining to do. Um, so yeah, and I overcoming fears. Um, I mean, Tamar, I can't believe how many fears she overcame on that trip. <laughs> <laughs> that is not an over exaggeration at all. And um, August too, like he was talks about how he's and he as an introvert being on a reality show is the opposite. So <laughs> yeah, so it was a strange experience to I guess starting off with because I mean as an empath you just kind of if you feel everything and I'm like kind of overly sensitive to everything. So if I feel like somebody's sad, I feel that shit, and then I naturally. Mm -hmm probably subconsciously or unconsciously go into a space where I feel like I want to shift the energy somehow. Um, just because I know sadness real, real well. And that's something I've had to really, really defeat with depression and sadness. So I never want to see no, see, see that on um, anybody else. But um, I think it is, like CJ said, it's a hard question to answer because the uh, cameras were rolling like, you know, 24 hours a day, like literally never stopped. So yeah, you, you just don't know what, actually will make tv and what what won't so everybody in this room is also uh in the same space that you you and the only difference is we know that you know we saw some experiences firsthand and were a part of it but we don't know actually what will come of this at all to be honest with you yeah 
And we're going to watch it for the first time with you as well. So <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exciting. Not exciting. <laughs> Concerning. <laughs> And you know, going Ooh. into this show, were did, were there concerns about signing on? What kind of things were going through your head? I know some of you have experience with reality shows, but this is obviously a very different beast. It's twenty four seven. You're thrown in with these people you don't know. Just mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about your thought process before joining? Um, well, you know, I had experience in this before because I did Big Brother, right? Um, so I knew it wasn't as bad as you know people who didn't have the experience you know would have thought it was going to be it wasn't it's not because what you the truth is you forget that the cameras are rolling especially right. when they're rolling 24 hours um so um i just think this is this would be a fun experience uh where you don't have the pressure of big brother you know to win to you know win yeah. you know to, to they are very to competitive right people and things <laughs> like that it, it wasn't that kind of party it was really show up and come as you are um and and then challenge yourself you know what mm -hmm. i mean and so that's really what it was for me so um i'm glad i did it i was a huge fan of the show and that's why i did it yeah. and um i have amazing friendships that has come from this experience i learned a lot more about myself and um you know where i where i was mentally then is is in a different place than i am now and i'm really proud of that and i have to you know attest that to, to this show because it really gave me an opportunity to really test that <laughs> and test where mm -hmm. i was and my mm -hmm. therapy and mm -hmm. what i needed to work on and and you know what i what i didn't want to work on anymore mm -hmm. and so um i don't know this this show was a real blessing for me because it came at a time where you know i really needed to test myself mm -hmm. I was say in August, CJ, did you have concerns before signing on or were you like ready to go? <laughs> I, I, for me, everything that we were discussing before of like the concerns of like how it could get edited, how all these things from just yeah. doing Total Divas was definitely made me very paranoid and very anxious because um, it has to be, it has to make it has to make sense. It has to be a story. And so, Nobody it, you know. <laughs> so I I was so thankful for Tamar because because she had done not just um, doc style reality with her family she also did Big Brother and this would be more compare like you could compare it to Big Brother and it's definitely more of a social experiment um, Tamar is very competitive I. It, that's an understatement. Um, so there was me, Frankie, Manny, and Tamar are very competitive people. So we all, all of us had like this crazy competition going on. And then matter if it was cards or, you know, I don't know who could like play soccer better. Um, so there was a lot going on in that sense. And that was a lot of fun, especially being an athlete. I love that part. Um, but I did Tamar on a daily basis throughout the day, had to try to calm me down because I was just like overthinking, getting so anxious about mm -hmm. the the reality part of it all. And um, I that was the one part of why I almost didn't do it. But then I was like, I'm not going to let fear dictate my life. Screw that. Yeah. And so I ran into it. <laughs> and I think my concern was probably just myself, really, mm -hmm. more yeah. than anything, because I mean, I had to see if my health was in the proper place for me to be able to uh, go do something like this show and if my mental health was in the proper place or my, my, right. my social skills even to what were in the proper place because for a while I had kind of just been in my own zone and kind of in my own circle in my own space and wasn't really used to interacting with people in a in that close of a like proximity so it really yeah. was um I really was more so concerned about myself. Like, am I in the space to show up as my best self on television, really? Well, it sounds like you all had a great time in the end, and I, I am excited to watch it. I hope it turns out well for you. <laughs> and thank you all for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's a key key. I can't wait till Monday. <laughs>